Hi, so I just want to show a short explanation video about the Puma 200 robot and here I have two blue pill boards with STM32 processors ARM based and under it there are three motor driver H bridges there should be three also on the back but I don't have them right now so I only can use three axes and here is one MOSFET driver to control the magnets in the three axes on the arm right now these three axes in the end arm are disabled because of the missing motor drivers and I will turn on 24 volts from this power supply that goes into the motor drivers and here I can control it from the serial monitor. If I send an S to the serial monitor the STM32 board will send me the position from the arm and do that every 500 milliseconds. If I now press D, it will activate the uh, motor controllers and also will deactivate the magnets. The arm is right now trying to hold its position and as you can see the number is changing a little bit if I try to press the arm down but it will then work against it. If I now press F the arm will um, go into two different positions just to show its capabilities it will just go one uh, 10,000 encoder positions in one direction as you can see here from the axis 2 then if I press the F again it will deactivate it and now the arm is holding its position again. If I press D again, the arm gets deactivated and will now activate the magnet, so it is just standing like this. If I press now the Y, I don't know, um, and enter, the magnets will get deactivated and the robot arm will fall down, as you can see now. I can now move the arm without any problems and can put it somewhere. If I now press the B, I can save one position where I want to have the arm and it will save it. So you can see set position V. If I press N, I can save another position, I don't know, I will try this, it's hard with one hand and then the other position gets saved. I can now press Y again, or Y, or, and now the arm will try to, uh, oh no, I, I have to press D. So now the arm tries to hold its position and if I now press C, the arm will hover between the two set positions. Until now it doesn't have any algorithm to form a nice movement, it's just trying to get to its position. If I now press V, it will get to the other position again. And I can change the speed by P or by O. P is faster and O is slower. So if I now press uh, P sometimes, so 0 is the fastest and ten, uh, 50 is the slowest. 
I will first put it to 6, try to go to the position again and we'll speed the whole thing up. So if I now press uh, V again it will try to go to the B position and that as fast as possible. So I can change between these two positions. I will now make it a bit slower. Okay, that's it for now. If you have any questions, please post it under the video and yeah.